In the last video, I touched on how things are going to be different for me this year and why. <clears throat> we touched on. Thank you. So let's dive into the details. We'll start with bike flights. As I mentioned before, I work for bike flights now. You can help me by heading over to their socials, liking and subscribing, and more importantly, engaging with me. I will respond. It is my job. And I'd love to hear about your experience using the service, good or bad. I want it all. And I want it now. <clears throat> On to bikes. I managed to wiggle my way into an awesome partnership with Black Magic Paint out of Portland. Rudy and Ben have built something truly unique there, and my showroom worthy MOG is a testament to that. I will drop a more specific video on that partnership later, including deep dives into all my bikes. But all you need to know for now is that Envy and Black Magic have teamed up, and I'm getting some amazing looking bikes. I will receive a MOG, a Melee, a new Envy frame dropping in April, and Black Magic has even custom painted one of my old mountain bike frames I had lying around. Which I should probably get built up because the first mountain bike race of the season is less than a month away. I'll be on Envy components, bars, stems, and seat posts, fork, and wheels. My bikes will be kitted out with full Shimano drivetrains and pedals. I'll run Lizard Skins bar tape because, damn, it matches so well. And I'm running on back stock of Maxxis rubber, but hopefully I can convince them that I'm cool enough to keep sending me tires because they truly are the top tier. Next up is the Black Bibs and Starlight Apparel. How to best describe these companies? They are the same, but different. With Starlight, you get full custom kit and logo capability. And with Black Bibs, you get the same quality items, but in stocked prints and designs. They say, in recent years, high quality cycling apparel has become inaccessible, way too expensive for many everyday riders. So we developed a simple and scaled down line of bibs with no labels. The talented Scotty Weiss at Starlight has already designed my custom kit, which I'm waiting on and I'm eager to show you. But for everyday training, you can catch me ripping around Roanoke in black bibs attire, which I should mention, Headquarters is located just west of downtown Roanoke, so you should stop in sometime. Flow Formulas is next, and I'm sure most of you are aware of my partnership with them. My carry 20 for 15% off code has generated a lot of controversy, and a lot of people have asked me about that discrepancy. You should change it to carry 420 for $6.90 off. I'm continuing my partnership with them for 2024, and using the same code. So go use it and order some endurance drink mix, gel drink mix, electrolyte replacement mix, and recovery. Use my code, I get a kickback, Sherm gets fed, and I get to go to more races. Plus, you get more content. It's really a win-win for everybody. Also, you get some of the best nutrition product on the market. What have you got to lose? Dualbow Eyewear is helping me out this year with the glasses. Right now, my favorite shades have been these densities because they are like 20 something grams and go from clear to tint, which is perfect when you work all day long tirelessly. And then you have to get out at 6 p.m. for a bike ride. You can get 30% off by using my code carry werner 30 or check the links in my video description where the discount will be auto applied in your cart. Laser helmets will be protecting my head I've got an Aero Road Vento and the new Z1 MIP with the Aero Shell for the shitty days. And I've got the Jekyll for mountain biking and looking cool with a visor. Now that we've got the housekeeping out of the way, let's talk about the schedule. I'll kick things off close to home with Appalachian Journey. It's a duo gravel race put on by a good friend, co-worker, and Roanoke neighbor, Gordon Wadsworth. Floyd County, Virginia has some of the best gravel in the country and more of it than a hill of beans. I'll tell you what, and by God, views prettier than a peach. Then promptly I'll make my way south for the Pisgah Stage Race, which I'm defending and participating in for the eighth plus time. I've kind of lost count. That's a testament to how awesome this race is. It's also my vlog anniversary. In 2018, at this race, I started the vlog. If you want to know what this race is all about, you should go back and watch that first one. You can kind of see the evolution of things. Plus, when you register, make sure you tell Ryan Fulton 
that my vlog is the reason that you're there. He will never be able to deny me a free entry again. Then it's off to Sea Otter where I'll be on assignment for bike flights. No racing for me that weekend, but please come to the booth if you're gonna be around and say hi. Tell me all about the awesome experiences you've had with bike flights. Give me a testimonial. I love testimonials. I'll be back home for another local race called the Wormhole 100K. It's a 66 mile backcountry marathon race in Arcadia area of the George Washington and Jefferson National Forest. It's got like 11,000 feet of climbing. Yeah, do cool stuff, Whoa. the camera's rolling. Yeah. Then it's off to Dowsett State Park for Middle Mountain Mama, another backcountry marathon race based out of Dowsett State Park. I've got videos from the last two times I've done this dropped in the video description below. It's a hoot if you like awesome single track, sturdy climbs, and white knuckle descents. Ninja! Don't fall, you're on camera. Then at the end of May, it's another Ryan Fulton production. He owns Pisgah and all of the Blue Ridge Adventure races, as well as the Transylvania production races, TSE Gravel and TSE Mountain Bike Epic. The Transylvania Mountain Bike Epic is at the end of May, which I'm also defending. It's a five day mountain bike stage race just east of State College, Pennsylvania in the Rock Rock, Bald Eagle, and surrounding state forests. You can catch multiple years worth of recaps at the link in the video description. After TSC, it's on to Unbound, where I am again on assignment for bike flights. Not too choked about missing this one, to be honest. Why, wow, seems like a pretty chill day to me. Didn't you take a nap in the middle of the race? Yeah, basically. Um. The Envy Grodio will follow, and then the final race in June is Oregon Trail Gravel Grinder before taking a little midsummer siesta. I've done this one twice before and looking forward to this time more than the last ones because Chad has revamped the routes and made the start and finish in Bend, so it's even more accessible. You should ship your bike there with bike flights to the host hotel or the bike shop right next door and get yourself there somehow. Then it's five days of point-to-point -point racing, camping, and hanging out just like the pioneers did. Except instead of wagons with metal wheels and horses, we'll be on ten plus thousand dollar bikes with carbon wheels and inserts in our tires and we'll still act like the world is plotting against us if something goes wrong. Oh yeah, there's BB guns too. That was the first time I said all that out loud. I'll cover the next six months after I get through this first six months and see how it goes. Until then, stay tuned for a deeper dive into all the things I just mentioned and the racing that's right around the corner. And as always, thanks for watching. That's my line. Too slow, homie. Just like you're going to be this year at Pisgah if you don't get this bike put together.